just got all geared up. Start hiking to our first glass point. And uh, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we uh, find a deer, whether it's a shooter or not. I made my way to the first glassing point where I originally found the buck I was after back in late June. I hadn't seen him since, but I had high hopes of finding him again during the archery season. I wasn't able to find him at the first glassing point, so I moved on and went along the other faces along the front of the mountain, glassing to try to find some more deer. I was unsuccessful in doing that, so I decided I was going to go to the top of the mountain and spend the few hours I had left during that first morning hunt and see if I could find any other deer on the top. So I got up over those trees, made some noise, and nothing budged. So I think I've kind of ruled out these edges, the mountain, at least the tops of them for right now. I think they were going to be over on the top of the mountains and the draws. So that's where I'm going to head now and spend the last couple of hours I have this morning here. All right, so we're on night two of the archery deer and elk season. Still headed after uh, deer today. It's been kind of a rough first day. Yesterday didn't see a single deer. So hopefully tonight we can glass at least doze up just to see deer. But hopefully we can find a, a good buck to go shoot or go put a stock on. So head over there, glass off that rock point right there. And hopefully we spot one. So I just found my first deer I've seen all archery season long, right there. It's getting pretty windy here. Hopefully the storm doesn't get too bad, but storm could kill the hunt tonight. The thunder's starting to get closer, so it's close on that, but we're just going to glass this stuff over here. I was kind of hoping I was just going to jump a buck right under these rocks right here that I'm on top of right now and get like a 30 yard shot, but I'm not that lucky today. I just got to my glassing point. It's a bit chilly this morning. The sun's not up right now because there's cloud cover. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but hopefully that means deer are moving. I just got to my first glassing point, and we're going to see. I'm probably just going to sit here and glass for an hour, maybe. See if I can't pick anything up because there's a lot to pull apart here. This is the area I found, like uh, up there at the top, is where I found. Uh, a good three by three back in like June, but I never found him again in the couple times I came out here. So I'm just glassing this and maybe the hopes that I get lucky and find him moving around down here since I found him down here in June. But if not, I think I'm gonna go over the top and glass some ravines and just glass those for hours. Go make a move. He should be right over 
I got above where I first spotted the deer and there was no sign of them. I didn't know if I had busted them or if they were just hunkered down in the sage. So I glassed around and was completely confused as to where they might have gone. I moved back up to the top of the finger, glanced down at the sage, and there the deer were, moving out of the little hole they had been hiding in. They had no clue I was there, so I set the camera up and got ready to put on a stock. As I put this stock on the deer, all the odds were stacked against me. I had the sun beating right down on me, and I was on a hillside just above where they were bedded where they could see me clearly. I was slipping on sand and rocks, making way too much noise, and inevitably led to them spooking away and me not being able to find them the rest of the day. Out here sold today, looking for that uh, deer we stalked the other morning. Coming to the same point where I glassed him up last time. Just gonna glass, don't even have my bow with me right now. I don't really think there's a point because I think they're gonna be, it's gonna be a hike if I get, if I glass him up. So I didn't record the rest of last or the rest of yesterday. I stopped filming anything after I um, chased that antelope. And what happened is I found the deer that I stalked on Friday. I watched them till about 7:20 last night. I watched them from like 5:30 to 7:20. Hopefully we can get on them. I'm pretty confident I can. I watched it. Like I said, I watched them to almost sundown last night. So. Unfortunately, I never found the buck that morning, and I went on to take about a two-week break to go chase some elk. With three to four days left in the archery season, I got out and figured I'd give it my best shot in hopes of trying to stick this deer with my bow. I found the deer almost immediately on the night of September 27th. They bedded down in the area I had watched him in. I planned the stock and went in to make my move.
I was in 20 yards on him. <laughs> Couldn't see him. And then finally, I see the little one quite like just now. I see the little one poke his, I see the antler in here. And uh, so I'm like, okay, I need to get on top. I should have stayed. I accidentally crunch a little brush. I'm taking one more step, the little one runs and the big one doesn't even stop. At 50 for me to get a shot, I mean, I could have had him dead all day long. He's massive. Like, he's a tank. So, we just found the deer I've been after all archery season. It's currently the first day rifle. Haven't been filming that much, unfortunately. But there was nothing going on this morning, or midday when we came out. And we just got out here. We've been glassing for a couple, for a little bit. I'm like, oh, we can't find him. We're gonna go to the bottom where we've seen him twice, or I've seen him twice. And then my dad glasses up where I glassed earlier up the canyon, and there he is, walking up there. And it's definitely the big one. We're gonna go get her done. She's still walking up. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, he's just browsing up. He is. Where you can see him? Huh? You can get him in the camera. Can you? It's really shaky because I don't have a tripod, but he's up there. He's working right up that drainage. I know. There's a car right atop of him right now. The first angle I approached the deer from didn't work out. I wasn't able to see the deer and I had hoped that he hadn't seen me. So we switched up angles in hopes that we would get another look at him and hopefully get a shot that night. To put a long story short, we didn't see the deer again that night after I set up in multiple different spots waiting for the deer to walk around the corner. We didn't know if he had hunkered down in the bottom or if they had just completely ran out of that area. But regardless of the outcome of that night, I knew what the game plan would be if we found him in that spot again and I was already ready to get back out and find him again. I don't know where he is, man. I think I heard him bust and I can't see him. It was the dumbest that we had. Should come from the other side. You can't see shit on this side. The other side gives you the perfect view from the top. We couldn't find the deer from the original glassing point and me and Bryson separated from my dad and decided to try a new angle. We couldn't find the deer and headed back up to the truck, but as soon as we got to the truck, we got a text from my dad letting us know that the deer was working right up to where we had just been. We rushed back down and got in position to make a shot. Things happened quick and I missed my first shot. I immediately loaded another round in and got ready to make my second shot.
Huh? I can't tell, dude. It's a hit. Dude, cock another one in. Dude, you got him. That's a good buck, Aiden. I gotta put another one in him. Yeah. You got him, dude. He's gonna drop. Is he down? He's stumbling. Be patient. He he's gonna die. You just gotta be patient, okay? Dude, he just fucking dropped. He dropped? He dropped. Are you sure? He's laying down here. Let me, let me get a look at him. He needs another shot. Yeah, he does. He's done. He's fucking done. Dude, nice job, dude. I lost him. I'm watching. He's, he's not moving right now. He's belly up, not moving. He's moving. I think he's pretty down. He, he's not going anywhere. He's, he may run a little bit and die, but you got him. Was it good hit? I couldn't see. I couldn't see him for a while. Until they came more out of that bottom. Because I got the bushes blocking me. You, you definitely hit him good. He was doing the fucking stinky leg. No, you, you hit him good. You hit him. Dude, that is a lot better buck than I thought. I don't think you'd realize how good of a deer you just shot. Like, that's a really good buck. I hit him. He's down. We gotta get to him. He's... I know. Was it a good hit? I heard my last hit. Alright, keep track of him. We're gonna go get over to him. I gotta get to him. I gotta make sure he's dead though. I'm gonna get up to him and we're gonna go. Alright, badass. See ya. Dude, that's a good he's deer. Big. He's big. like you, close, he's way bigger. a lot bigger than I thought. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I thought he was a good buck. That's a good buck. Like, that's. Said he's belly up, not moving. Oh, he's dead. He has him in the spot. He's, gonna... he's straight piled. It had to have been a good hit for him. He, did you see him? He just hunched up. He was, he was done for. That's vitals for sure. That's vitals. two were a miss because you didn't hear the flash. Yeah, you could, hear the, you could hear him ricocheting off rocks. I felt a lot better on that last shot. Did like you? The nerves weren't there. The nerves on the first shot. Thank God he stopped at least three times. I don't know if I got it on video. I'm sorry. I got you shooting at him, but I couldn't see him until That's, they walked over. You got me shooting at him? I got you a video of you just down there shooting. Works, yeah. All right, sweet. Man, I'm impressed with how good I fucking reacted to not missing and getting back to Yeah, him. that that was impressive. Really impressive. I, I felt a lot calmer on the second and last shot. All right, we got to be careful walk up to him because he might kick back up. I know. I think we're going to be smarter looping around to go into the top. You think so? Yeah, I wouldn't just walk, drop down straight through this ditch because he might run him yeah i think that's definitely gonna be the smarter yeah, idea that's a good hit yeah because then if, if we walk above and he still stumbling and shit we can, we'll be able to see a lot better dude <laughs> good fucking shit thank you man ah that's Last fucking awesome days dude. Of the fucking movies, dude oh we're putting shit on let's fucking go that's dude good movie. buck like that that is a lot bigger deer than i thought maybe we should get to the truck uh, let's just walk down there all right he uh, he might be struggling still it's hard to tell he, he didn't move after i think it was nerves i'm gonna call my dad and that's, let him know that's a big deer that's a good buck. Very good buck. Both mags. You good? We got Aiden's buck down here dead somewhere. We're trying to find him in the sagebrush right now. Some thick stuff. He's down for sure though, guys. Oh boy. He's above us? I guess he's up here now is what Aiden's dad's telling us. He's on the spotter. Uh, he is. Pretty far. He's straight up hill. Turn your left, I guess. Walk straight back in. Okay. Be careful there. Yeah, straight down right, and I can watch The left now? Up and left, not down and left. I got him. Holy shit. Where Holy is he? Holy fucking shit. Oh shit. Holy fuck, Aiden. That's a good buck, dude. Holy shit. He's piled. 
Oh yeah. Let me poke him. He's down, dude. Oh yeah, clean cut lungs. Through the shoulder lungs. You see that? Oh yeah. Look at this guy, this is a beautiful buck. That's a stud. That's a, that's a, that's not a cheater, right? Where? No. It's a split. It's a three by four. Hell yeah. Holy fuck. Look at the body on him too, he's got a good body. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. It's a young that's deer. about right for the gun too, because my gun's been shooting high and right a little bit, so I put it like right here, which means it would have gone right there. Uh-huh. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, good job. Fuck yeah. You don't want to set this up by your gun? That's a fucking good buck. Double eye guards. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Holy good shit, shit. Dude. That's fucking awesome. <sighs> oh my god. Holy shit. So I, I originally found this buck back in June. And you know, I've stayed on him through archery season. And it is, he's better than I thought, to be honest with you. And man, am I glad I shot this buck today. You know, we've been grinding, got on him first day, uh, first opening night. Wasn't able to seal the deal, but got it done tonight, and that is a good buck. I'm gonna run up and go grab your dad. Yeah. Oh, I Point some pictures. Yeah, I'll let's get some pictures. Three by four, kind of a bad angle. I got the camera pointing through. 